Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Prosperity Time. Our God is good. Lord, we praise you. Makala Boni. Mandara Le Sopra. We praise you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Makala Boni. Make it a good source of Friday the Great. We praise you. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Makala Yanda Ko Sota Redush. Eketokuzo sofradi ya dabalados. We praise Lord. We worship your holy name. We thank you, Father, for your love, for your kindness towards us. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone. Glory to God. With me once again is my wonderful brother, Reverend Samuel Inamdi. Glory to God. Join me all the way from Texas. Welcome to the broadcast, man of God. Glad to be here. Amen. One more time. Glad, Amen. glad to be here. Amen. Amen. Now we are, we are welcoming everyone viewing us. Amen. God bless you. Amen. And welcome in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. People of God, this is prosperity time. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Presented by Akintadi Uyemi Ministries. This is one of his power network. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon, this evening, or tonight, as the case may be, wherever you are watching us from. Our God is good. It is God's will for you not to be broke. You might be in a financial situation right now. That's why the word of God is coming to you to educate you so that faith can come into your heart and you begin to walk in that level that God has called you into. And I'm so glad to have my brother with me. Glory to God. We are anointed to teach biblical prosperity. Glory to God. We are anointed. We are not ashamed of it. We are anointed. And the reason that we are saying that is, is for you to believe it so that faith can come into your hearts and you begin to believe God for your own supernatural breakthrough. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Let's have a word of prayer. Sir. Father, we thank you for this morning. We give you praise. We thank you for your holy word that is forever written in heaven. We thank you for the wonderful precious promises that are in this holy word of God. Lord, we thank you for giving us those promises for revealing your hearts, your mind to us. Yeah. Even, even concerning financial prosperity. It is never in your will for us to be broke. I but do. you want us to get it through your word. So that we'll begin to confess it. And we'll be, we'll be, we'll be experiencing it. Lord, we thank you. We well, thank you, God, for the great mighty Holy Spirit that you have given unto us. To unveil this word to our spirit. We trust him this morning, this afternoon, this evening, as the case may be, that he will rise up on our inside. He will illuminate the word of God to our spirit, man. Our mind will be renewed. When our mind is renewed, our vocabulary will be, will be changed. And as our yes. vocabulary is changed, Lord will begin to see the manifestation of the greater blessing, super abundant life that you, God, has called us into. Thank you, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we declare that your word go forth unhindered by any demonic force. Every spirit of religion concerning financial prosperity will come against you. We banish you from God's people's life in the name of the Lord Jesus. We proclaim that God's word will have free course over their lives. Thank you, Father. Yes. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen, amen. and amen. Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to God. Man of God, please, I want you to go ahead and welcome God's people once again, sir. Please, sir, go ahead. I want to welcome all of you in the name of the Lord. And it, it, what a joy. Mm. It's always a joy to be on this platform with my big brother. Praise God. Um, a man who inspires me a lot, Amen. you know. Praise God. From what it is that he does, mm. reaching out to the world Amen. with the word of God. Hallelujah. In these very hard times, mm. in this very challenging situation, mm. Mm. it is the word of God that you need That's to right. navigate the craziness of this world. That's right. Oh, I love okay. that. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. So, mm. so when you are welcome, welcome. Mm. Do not let anything to distract you. Mm. Get your Bible. Get your notepad. Mm. Just dedicate the next one hour or so to to learning, mm. to to enriching your spirit, mm. to enriching your spirit. Mm. And I'm telling you honestly, the entrance of the world will always give life. Hallelujah. Life to someone who is poor is Hallelujah. prosperity. Hmm. Life to someone who is sick is healing. Hmm. Hmm. Life to someone who is depressed hmm. is, hmm. is 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 lifting is 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 liberation hmm. from that depression. Amen. It is the entrance of the world Hallelujah. that gives you that light. Amen. That light. Hmm. Hmm. So the world is gonna come your way and, and listen, 
Mm. I say the truth, I lie not. Mm. There is nothing that I'm going to say here Amen. that is my work. Mm. My work. Mm. I will try today to show us everything from the pages of the scripture Hallelujah. so that you and I can agree on one thing mm. that, wow, Amen. this is actually the word of God that is being discussed right here and right now. Mm. I welcome you. I welcome you. I welcome you. Welcome to the party. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Yes. Welcome to the celebration of God's word. Yes. A party. Glory yes. to God. You know, some man yes. of God, a lot of us, a lot of us haven't got into that place of, of celebrating God's word. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they will think, oh, when we we, we read God's word, oh, we should, we should be this with that. It's cause for celebration, joyful. We should be joyful about it. Because yes, the sir. word has power to deliver us. The word has yes. power to bring us over whatever situation we are facing. So, if we have received the word from God, then we should be joyful about it. So, we should, it calls for party. A celebration party. I love that. <laughs> Glory to God. Man of God, sir, I'm going to read this scripture. People of God, we are just going to tell you, open your hearts and your mind. I know there are a lot of teachings about prosperity that has pushed people away. Now, first and foremost, never run after money. Never put money yes. first in your life. God should be number yes, one. Sir. Should be yes, number sir. one. You know, God says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things shall be added unto you. But the kingdom of God operates by faith. You need to know that God wants you to be rich. Then you operate in that faith. Now, your priority should be God force in your life, not money. Not money. Glory to God, not money. But God wants you to be rich. So to access this wealth, you need to know it, believe it, confess it, and work in love towards it. Work in love. Hard work in love with it. So that is why the teaching of God's word concerning financial prosperity is important. So open your hearts, open your mind. Receive the engrafted word of God which is able to save your soul, is able to deliver you from that spirit of poverty. I'm telling you, yes, this sir. is never God's will for you to be poor. So what we are talking about is, I will never be broke another day of my life. Money cometh. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Ah, Glory to God. Do you know, when you read the scripture, do you know how much money that has been coming Amen. to me Amen. since the last year? Whoa. So what sort of money just keeps on coming? Amen. Money Good. just keeps on coming. Yes. Man, same thing here, man of God. Same thing here, man of God. You, you see, you see, people are forgotten that um, our words shapes our world. What we say shapes our world. W O R L D. Now, W O R D shapes W O R L D. So maybe the reason that the money keep coming, they keep going. The reason that business opportunities keep passing you by. Maybe the reason that no, uh, no good thing you are no good no good thing is coming to you is because of your mouth. You have been saying ah, hey, me to be to be rich. No 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 the rich ah no no I don't want to I don't want to. You, you see the devil has sold that to us and we have taken it and we are saying it because he understands the power of our words. But the yeah. days are here that people of God are liberated and they begin to speak after God's hearts. They begin to declare what God has has provided for them. And the truth for the matter is, you need money here to survive on her faith. You're not going to spend dollars in level. Maybe you didn't know that. Glory to God. Yes. Man of God, let, let, glory to God. There's such an anointing that is already here right now. Let me just read this scripture. Man of God, you just take us into God's word. Now, 2 Corinthians 8, 9. It said, for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that mm. though he was rich, yet for your sakes, he became poor. Wow. So that you through his poverty, might become rich. Might become rich. Now, man of God, you see that word rich? In the Greek is proteo. It means wealthy. To become wealthy. Wealthy. So, some people might probably say that's a spiritual something. To become wealthy. Wealth. Wealth. Money. Great abundant substance. To become wealthy. He said to be increased with goods. I'm reading the Greek, 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 Greek meaning. From the Greek word proteo. Be rich. Be made rich. Wax rich. Be increased with goods. Woo! 
Man of God, please sir, go ahead and take us into God's word, sir. Hmm. You are indeed in the spirit. Ha, you know why? Amazing. Because getting ready, hmm. this is the first line of scripture. I have it here. Hmm. I have it open. Wow. I was supposed that, to bah, bah, bah. quote this scripture. Hmm. And I think it's important hmm. the scripture that, you know, starts this conversation. Amen. Hmm. If you didn't quote it hmm. now or hmm. read it out for every one of us, hmm. I would have still Amen. read it. Amen. That scripture that is right before me, hmm. that is the scripture oh, before ba, 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 to start this conversation with. And that tells you how much in the spirit we are. Amen. Guys, if you are listening, hmm. this is not, there is no script. We didn't plan this. We didn't compare notes. Hmm. The man of God just read out of hmm. his spirit hmm. what God has also dropped in my spirit. And mm. I think it should count for something. Hallelujah. Number one, if you, this is a second part or a third part, as it were. Yes, a third part. That's right. That That's right. Some time ago. That's right. But you need to go back and check the videos. That's right. And watch the first one because yeah. I want to avoid mm. a recap mm. so that we go straight into today's. We have a lot to talk about. That's right. And I'm sure we are not going to cover it within the time we have. No, so no, no. We're still going to come back later on, man of God, in the future. Yes. Go back hmm. and get the teaching hmm. so that you can be carried along Hallelujah. on this second part. Hmm. But we are beginning from that scripture that the man of God quoted. Amen. For you know. Hallelujah. And the question I want to ask you hmm. is Do you, you know? know. Ooh, you see, when the way the scripture opens hmm. up is very instructive. Hmm. For you know. Hmm. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Many people are not enjoying this grace mm. because they just don't know mm. or they have refused to know. Mm. There are unfortunately Christians that fight against prosperity. Mm. There are unfortunately Christians, Christians that <laughs> see God, the word of God this, this serious, mm. this clear, mm. this this. This, there's no ambiguity mm. in this word that man of God just put it. It mm. is clear. It speaks directly. Mm. There is nothing confusing about yeah, it. That's right. But we have in our time and in our generation, mm. Christians who have just refused mm. to position themselves mm. so that this grace, mm. we are talking about a grace here. Mm. But it starts with for you know. Hallelujah. And the challenge I want to throw out there mm. is do you know, mm. my brother, my sister, the mother, the father listening to me, mm. do you know, mm. do you know mm. this grace? He said, for you know the grace mm. of our Lord Jesus Christ. What grace are we talking about? Mm. What grace did the Bible refer to as mm. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ? Mm. Mm. He said, this grace is the fact mm. that he was rich. Mm. Oh, I love that. He was rich mm, mm. his true identity Hallelujah. is not that of poverty mm. who is listening to me mm. the true identity mm. of jesus Hallelujah. does not have anything to do with poverty mm. Mm. in the first video i said mm. that when you consider god who is our father Hallelujah. there is nothing that suggests poverty around him no nothing nothing when nothing we start facing mm. this when do we start coming in terms with mm. things mm. People, we should really come in terms with this. We should embrace mm. this. There mm. is nothing that mm. you can think about God mm. that will suggest poverty, poverty in any way, shape, or form. Mm. There is nothing about your father. Mm. Now, mm. if this man, that nothing about him suggests poverty, mm. created you, right, mm. in his image, mm. after his likeness, Hallelujah. then you are out of that image mm. <laughs> you are out of that likeness Hallelujah. if your life speaks of poverty mm. think about that for me. and and the man of god that's one of the reason that the lord has put this in our hearts to come mm -hmm. and to teach mm -hmm. about this yeah so that to help you to know people of god because if you see Every one of us, man of God, we need to do an inventory of our lives in every area. I do that. So when I see an area that is one way or the other, I know it's not God's fault. It's me that I need to do something about it. Then I'll get into God's word. begin to find out what, has the, what, does, I mean, what does the word of God says about it. You know? And I, I know because I know that I am blessed. As far as God is concerned, I am blessed. So I need to translate the blessing into this three-dimensional word. So I understand that faith is the key. 
So I begin to study God's word. I begin to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal. Show me. Listen to anointed messages. Get messages. People that I respect. What is it that they've taught about it? Begin to listen. What is it that I'm doing? I'm building faith. I'm dispelling that fear that, oh, what is going to happen? What is going to happen? I'm pushing it away. Then I just know, mm, this is it. I got it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I got it. My faith has risen up. Then I'll, I'll begin to declare it. I'm walking in love. Things are happening. Because God is not a respecter of persons. He's not a poor God. Neither is he a broke God. He has everything in super abundance. Imagine somebody that holds the whole universe. So that's our God. And that wealth belongs to us because we're his children. Glory to God. Please, sir, go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Hallelujah. God, God made you hmm. and hmm. I, hmm. everyone listening, hmm. stated in the scripture hmm. in his image Hallelujah. after his life. Hmm. 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 And I'm telling you, I'm throwing out a challenge. Hmm. Please, I know you are born again. I hmm. know you speak in tongues from your mother's womb. <laughs> I know you've been going to church all your life. Hmm. But can you just have a Bible study? Mm. and find out for me mm. anything about God mm. that suggests poverty. Ooh, wow. This is a big challenge and I need somebody to, to just prove me wrong. Mm. Show me something about God mm. for him to dwell in a place where the streets are paved mm. with gold. Mm. 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 How does that suggest poverty? poverty. Mm. For, for, for the cattle on a thousand hills Hallelujah. To belong to him. Hmm. He said, if I am hungry, I, I don't need you. That's right. The cattle for the thousand hills, hmm. the, the, the Bible didn't tell us how many hills. <laughs> That's mean, right. The Bible didn't tell us how many cattles. Cattles. That's that right. Is in hmm. Each, hmm. you know, hmm. mountain, each hill. Hmm. But for all of them to belong to your father, hmm. does that in any way, form of shape hmm. suggest now? Back to the scripture we started with. Yes, sir. He said, for you know, and mm. my desire, mm. my prayer, and the reason for this broadcast mm. is that you will come to that knowledge. Hallelujah. You know mm. the grace of our Lord Jesus Hallelujah. Christ. Mm. What is that grace? That Jesus Christ, the man who came and died for you on the mm. cross of Calvary, he was rich. Mm. Let's mm. face it. Mm. That is his position. Amen. That is Hallelujah. He was rich. Mm. He was never poor. Mm. But the Bible stated that he became poor. Mm. So the question is, why did he become poor? Mm. He saw the, is there. Look at the Bible. Amen. Glory okay. to God. I love that. Second Corinthians chapter 8, mm. verse 9. Mm. For you know mm. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That though he was rich, mm. oh, glory to mm. God. Though he was rich, mm, mm, yet mm, for your mm, sake. Mm, so why did he become poor? Mm, he became poor for my sake. Hallelujah. He became poor for your sake. Hallelujah. Meaning, without you, Jesus, we never have business with poverty. Mm, I'm gonna say that's that. right. Without you, that's Jesus, right. we never have yes, business yes, with poverty. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. But for you, hmm. he became poor. Hallelujah. Now, question is, hmm. okay. He became poor for me. Mm. Why would they have to do that? Mm. Why would he have to become poor mm. for me? The mm. answer mm. is also provided in that same Hallelujah. portion of the scripture. Ooh, glory to God. He says, so mm. that you, through his poverty, mm. might become rich. So why did he become poor? Glory. The re oh, mm. you, are you still waiting for the answer? <laughs> I give it to you. The only, re mm. the only reason Jesus ever tested poverty mm. is so that you will not test poverty. Woo! Glory to God. Jesus ever embraced poverty mm. is so that you don't embrace poverty. Amen. The only reason Jesus ever accepted mm. poverty on a normal day, mm. on a normal ground, mm. Jesus will have no business mm. to do with poverty mm. because poverty does not look like where he's coming from. Mm. This man was coming Woo. from glory. Preach it, brother. There is no Hallelujah. poverty Makalaba. in glory. Woo. Poverty does not look like he doesn't even know what poverty mm. is. Mm. Everything. If you read John chapter 1, mm. there was nothing made that was with me without Woo. him. This man made everything that you see who? the man who can create everything is not in any way Hallelujah. poor mm, so mm. he doesn't have business with poverty mm. he doesn't have no connection with poverty mm. he will never on a normal day accept poverty mm. but he did he did mm. so that you will never accept poverty in your mm. life if you are therefore poor mm, mm. it is no longer jesus's fault no wow because he has done well, and I'm gonna listen. Let me mm. put it this way. Let Amen. me come across this way. Amen. Listen to this and listen good, mm. please. Mm. How 
did you become a righteous person and i say this a lot because i want people to reason how did you become a righteous person how did you translate from sin to righteousness how did you um become port, like this English yes they use, how do you port how did you port from from, from darkness to, to light, light. Ooh, i love that to heaven how you know the scripture hmm. you say for your for with the heart hmm. right yes man believes, believes hallelujah unto righteousness that's and right with the mouth ba, 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 ba. did you see that yes, confession hmm. is made unto salvation, salvation. and please hear, hear this hmm. salvation hmm. is the biggest gifts mm. that anybody can receive salvation is the biggest miracle mm, hallelujah. the miracle of blind eyes opening mm. is not as weighty as salvation mm. the miracle of cripple cripple person walking is not as weighty mm. as salvation mm. the mm. biggest miracle ever mm. is salvation Amen. now this big miracle this mm. greatest awesome gift of god mm. to man mm. how did you receive it wow by believing in your heart that's right hallelujah and by confessing with your mouth that's right that's right hmm. now having answered that question hmm. the next question that i want your mind to begin to process as hmm. i ask it hmm. is when how what did jesus do hmm. for me to be able to receive salvation, salvation. you know <laughs> okay. he, he offered himself. himself he was killed in the most mm. brutal way mm. Right? Mm. he went through shame mm. he was judged and condemned for the sin he never committed mm. 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 he basically took your place mm. and you understand and you know the story <laughs> of the cross Hallelujah. of calvary glory to god that's what he did now having answered to that point mm. would you please now turn mm. your scriptures mm. with me mm. And let's see mm. that thing that he did on the cross of calvary mm. was it only meant to bring me from hell to heaven <laughs> no <laughs> was it only for was it only salvation that mm. that thing gave the, mm. can i assess mm. watch this mm. other things mm. because of that or is there any other thing jesus Bro. needs to do hmm. okay jesus thank you hallelujah hmm. you have saved my soul but jesus when will you come and save my pocket <laughs> i love that <laughs> died on the cross hmm. saved my soul hmm. i'm thinking you might need to hmm. die another death hmm. that will now also save my pocket hmm. 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 but the question is that singular death that he died hallelujah. once and for all Whoa, did, glory it to God. Cover, did, did it cover my pocket hallelujah you want to get the answer hmm. let's go Whoa, find your bibles please hey glory to god hallelujah you know man of bibles, god please. man of god before you yes, before you open that place sir you know i just i just wish that i just want every one of us to lift up our hands to thank god for this hallelujah. sacrificial work for us lord will thank you for saving us hallelujah. from sins Hallelujah. For saving us from poverty, for Lord delivering Lord. us from the hands of the devil, for, 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 for healing us for the work of the cross. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for taking our place. You became sin for us. You became sick for us. You became poor for us. Lord, we thank you for all of this. Lord, you were never you, 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 you never sinned, and neither were you a sinner. You weren't born as a sinner. Lord, but you took our place. And you weren't you weren't poor where you live, but you, you became poor for us. Lord, you weren't sick, no sickness, no poverty, no sin where you live, but you took all of these places for us. For me, for me, Lord, we well, thank you. 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 Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, glory is God. Please, I go ahead, I go ahead, and read that scripture. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, this Thank is you. a mystery. Mm. Now, let me quickly let yes, me sir. quickly say this, mm. you know, before I go to the scripture. Yes, sir. This is a mystery. Mm. Thanksgiving is the secret for plenty. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's right. Praise God. Thanksgiving is the secret mm. for plenty. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Glory to God. Is Hallelujah. the secret for more. Listen, mm. Jesus was teaching, and mm. there were a lot of people, mm. five thousand men mm. recorded mm. and jesus perceived that they were hungry mm. and jesus began to like we need to give these guys food mm. and he told his disciples go get something the disciples mm. said lord man 
we are in the desert. There is no way. <laughs> no we way. Can buy no ah. way. And a young boy had the conversation. Mm. I said, "Well, I got something here that mm. I, I took from home. I was supposed to eat. You know mm. the story, right? Yes, sir. The five, two fishes. Mm. What did the Bible say? Jesus took that lunch mm. of that young mm. boy. Mm. The mm. Bible said that Jesus lifted it up and Hallelujah. he gave thanks. Who? Glory to so God. when you ask me, what was the secret of that miracle mm. what was the secret of that multiplication it was because jesus gave thanks Hallelujah. over little Ooh. listen to me the secret to financial increase is giving thanks yes. over what you already Hallelujah. have thank you jesus people who complain mm. don't always assess well that's right that's right complain do, do not always assess well so, that's right so so it is good i, I love the father we took our time mm. to give god thanks for what he did Amen. on the cross of calvary that's right. but i have a good news mm. to you mm. that that which he did on the cross of calvary mm. settled everything romans <laughs> yes sir romans chapter eight glory to god romans chapter eight mm. verse 31 mm. thank oh, you glory oh hallelujah the Bible says, mm. what then shall we say to these things mm. if God is for, for us. us. Who can be against Ooh. us? He who did not spare his own son. Hallelujah. We are talking about the death of Jesus. On That's the right. Cross. That's right. God, God, God turned his back. Mm. God turned his back on Shut Jesus up. so that he will never turn his back on him. Mm. <laughs> he turned his back on Jesus so that he will never turn his back wow. on him. Wow. Now, he did not spare his own son. Mm. God allowed that to go through. God mm. allowed him to be killed. But delivered him for all of us. Wow. Delivered him for us all. Mm. So the death of Jesus was not only for the Jews, mm. it's for every, every human being who will ever live, who is living, and who will ever live. Hallelujah. The death of Jesus is for every human being that lives, mm. that is living, mm. and they will still live. Oh, glory to God. It's for all of us. Hallelujah. Now the question, now the question, you got mm, a question to mm, answer in the Bible. Mm, There's a question for you to answer mm, here. Mm, mm, mm. How shall he not mm. him also mm. freely give, give us, us all things? things. Hallelujah. That's a question for you. Mm. So if God allowed Jesus to die, mm. if God did not spare his son mm. and allowed him to die, right? Mm. Question is God this God. God who did not spare his son? How shall this God, not with Jesus, how mm. shall he not mm. also? You know, I love the scripture. Yes, sir. How shall he not also mm. freely, 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 freely give you all things? Now, so the simple mm. question is: this financial prosperity that we are talking mm. about, mm. is it can it be in? categorized among the all things hmm. <laughs> that's so right. the death of jesus secured all things for us Amen. And who is sick hmm. watch this the death of jesus secured your healing your healing Woo! is inside that same death glory to god so the one who is depressed hmm. your healing is inside that same death Amen. Of jesus. that's right so is poor. Your healing from poverty is inside that same death of Jesus. Mm. How shall you not with him freely? freely. I'm asking you a question. Mm. Listen, answer this question mm. for yourself. Mm, mm. Go beyond what somebody is teaching mm. you that all oh, poor you will always have with you. It is righteousness to be poor. <laughs> God is poverty. You don't believe you can't believe some people teach those like <laughs> that God. God is trying to humble you with poverty. Uh, poverty. This is how they also mm. teach that God is trying to humble you. God is trying to teach mm. you a lesson with sickness, mm. not in the world. Mm. Even if me, mm. with all my unrighteousness, mm. even if I am God, mm. I will not even have the heart mm. to teach somebody a lesson with sickness. With, that's I right. cannot. I cannot as a human being. Mm. You know, Jesus said, if your earthly father who are evil, mm. you see, Jesus if your earthly father are evil mm. but even though they are evil they know how to give mm. good good gifts, gifts. <laughs> pretty sir an evil men that give good gifts mm. so as an evil person mm. i would not truly really have the heart mm. to put cancer on you mm. as if you a lesson mm. 
the heart to put poverty on you mm. as a form of teaching a lesson. Mm. If me as an evil man cannot do that, <laughs> how much more? How much more? The most righteous man. Ooh, how much more? Glory to God. God. Glory would, to God. Hallelujah. How would you, but, you know, my brother said something. Mm. My brother said mm. that the reason we are doing this broadcast mm. is for you to change your mind. That's right. <laughs> because what you believe mm. determines what you receive. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Who He said that some people are in poverty because they have accepted and believed that. Mm. I cannot accept poverty. I'm sorry to say, mm. I cannot accept poverty. No, no, me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Jesus, mm. it is, listen. Jesus paid a heavy price. Yes. Yes. He not to be poor. Yes. Why would I waste the grace that he has done? <laughs> yes. Well, remain poor. Mm. Answer that question. Man, go ahead. Yes, sir. What, me, no, to process what you're saying, why should I waste that grace? Why should I, why should I uh, uh, relegate the work that the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the God did for me? Why, why should I, why should I not look down on it? Why don't I, with thanksgiving, embrace it and say, and worship God, Lord, I thank you for what you did for me, just like you delivered me from sin. We, I, can, I, 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 I thank God today that I'm not a candidate for hell. I'm not. I'm not. He did it for me. And I'm grateful. I will, I will forever be grateful, eternally grateful. Even when I get to heaven, I will, I will just prostrate. You know, lie down, worship the Lord Jesus Christ. For, Lord, I thank you for what you did for me. If not because of you, I will not be standing in front of you right now. I will be in hell. Forever bonds, but you did that for me. Lord, I also say, Lord, I thank you for what you did for me. If not because of you, I would not be. I've never. I would never have been rich on earth. Oh. <laughs> some, 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 some people say, what, what? Yes, that's what we are saying. In the same work of the cross settled my sin, settled my sickness. I, I can boldly say that I would never be sick another day of my life. That yes. health is mine. Why? Because he took my infirmities, took my sicknesses on the cross. By whose stripes you were healed. So, my proclamation saying that I, I'm not going to be sick, it is based on what he did for me. Glory to God. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. He did that. So, I can as well say, I, I'm then saying, he did, he took my poverty. Then, based on that, I refuse to be poor. I refuse to be sick. I refuse to go to hell because he already did all of those for me. Now, if yes, I don't yes. accept all of those, then it means that I am ungrateful. I am ingrate. Oh, if I don't oh, appreciate yes. that, yes. I am ingrate. Yes. But no. If you do not accept yes. what he did, <laughs> you are ungrateful. Yes. So that, that's what, means. what, hmm. what are we saying? Yes, if you do not, if you do not accept hmm. the prosperity hmm. he suffered. Hallelujah. Shankala. The prosperity he purchased for you with his blood. Oh. And, and, and it, we are, oh my God, oh, man of God, am I allowed to say this? Oh, when you talk about blood money, mm. it's not the one you see in the movie. About the <laughs> Go ahead, man of God. Yeah. This, is, this is the blood money we are talking about. Exactly. The, the wealth that mm. we enjoy mm. was not without blood. Yeah. Oh. Oh, shed the balado. Preach it, preach it, sir. Kali yenda balaba baba. The wealth that we enjoyed was not without blood. That's right. It was not without blood. That's right. That Jesus hmm. purchased for Hallelujah. us. Hallelujah. Hmm. He actually purchased with his Amen. blood. Amen. So, I said something and I'm going to get back to it. Yes, sir. Listen to this. Hmm. How did you therefore... Hmm become born again mm. by what i call the heart the heart mouth connection that's why glory to god mouth connection, connection. the heart mouth, mouth connection. connection what do you mean the heart mouth mm. connection mm. out of the abundance of the heart Hallelujah, my gosh. the mouth speak it that's right the mouth speak it mm. 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 so when you see someone how irritating that is mm. and how you should quickly try to deliver that person. Mm. But when you see someone who is saying, ah, man, mm. 
Oh, all my life would have just been poor. His mm. poor family. My great grandfather was poor. poor. My father, was my, poor. my father, father. My mother, mother. Oh, my uncles are poor. Mm. I, I, I actually don't see the way I can escape mm. poverty. It's just, just what we are identifying. It is our identity. Uh, poverty is identity. You, I rebuke that spirit in the name. In the name of Jesus, yes, sir. I agree with you. <laughs> you have to. You have to react mm. by vehemently against the spirit. What are you talking about? When you see someone mm. talking like that, mm. begin to pray for the person. Amen. <laughs> Take this video. Take this video. Listen, mm. you know friends mm. who talk like that. Mm. You know friends mm. that talk like that. Can you quickly begin to tag them on this video? Amen. Tag them Amen. on this video. Amen. They need to mm. come in contact with the truth. They need to know mm. that their mouth mm. speaks life or death for them mm. your mouth is your purchasing power that's okay? right 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 that's right your mouth is your purchasing mm. power mm. um with that purchasing power you can either buy life mm. or you buy death. Ooh. Man of, man, death is oh. man of God, I, I love i love what you said they say our mouth is a purchasing power yeah. <laughs> that's powerful that, i'm telling you that's powerful and it's the truth as we are saying explaining and yes, a sir. lot of us, guess what we have been purchasing, man of God? Poverty. Oh, Lord. Poverty. You know, you were saying that uh, some of us will say, my father was poor, my mother was poor, my uncle was poor, my mother, mother, father, father. And they forgotten that their lineage has changed. Right. As, right. as soon, I mean, the moment they've accepted Jesus Christ, yes, they have natural lineage, but they've forgotten that they are no longer natural person again they are supernatural so their their lineage has been moved to that supernatural realm to the world wealthy kingdom so they forgot it so they are still going about with the natural lineage in which the natural is limited to here they forgot it that god has placed them above that natural circumstance and they forgot it that that's the place that they should be thinking they should be speaking from that's why I'm going to keep saying it. I will never be broke another day of my life. Money cometh to me now. Glory to God. Glory to God. Why is it important mm. that we say it? Yes. You know, the things that we vocalize mm. play a major part in our life. That's right. That's right. Very major. Mm. Mm. But your mouth there's a link there's mm. a pie mm. right that mm. connects your heart and your mouth that's right that's right so before you can speak life mm. your heart should always brood on life mm. your heart should always think life that's right let me give you a quick story sir let me give you a yes, story, sir. sir. yes sir young young boy young man just mm. came out of college mm. and and you know my father had just died when i was in first year in college mm. and i came out of college and guess what? Hmm. Every time I, I even prayed and desired God, I said, God, hmm. please, I want to live in the neighborhood where hmm. I can always see hmm. the picture of my future. Hmm. Can I quickly say this to you? Amen. Whatever is your future, whatever is your desire, hmm. is someone's reality. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Amen. Say that again. Amen. That's why glory to God. Mm. A, a scripture, Lord, please mm. direct me. A scripture, mm. Lord, have mm. mercy. Now, I, I need to put a scripture on this, people of God. Yes, Can we go to Ecclesiastes? I need to put a scripture yes, sir. on this. Mm -hmm. It's important for yes, me. Yes, sir. Ba, ba, ba. It's important for me. Amen. Ecclesiastes. Mm. Mm. Ecclesiastes chapter, chapter 10. Yes, sir. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Ecclesiastes. Your desire hmm. is someone's reality. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. Desire is someone's reality. Yes. So I said to God, and God answered that prayer. Hmm. God gave me accommodation, sir. Hmm. God gave me accommodation. This is a young man praying. Hmm. I'm talking about your heart hmm. now. The connection between your heart and your hmm. mouth that leads to your hmm. prosperity. Hmm. God gave me uh, accommodation hmm. in the highbrow area, Amen. one of God, hey. in the 
wealthy people's area. Oh, extremely rich. Hallelujah. In that city. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, Praise God. One of the men, hmm. one of the men looked at me and said, I got a I got a big job in another city. Hmm. I have I have a room in my mansion, hmm. but nobody's gonna be here and hmm. I still have my properties here. I still hmm. have all my property, I'm not gonna move because mm. the, the job I got, mm. they furnished everything. So I don't even have a need to move anything mm. from here mm. to the city. Hallelujah. He said, mm. well, We need someone to stay in the compound. To stay in the, comp the compound. Is <laughs> it's not empty. <laughs> of, of, you know, empty. Mm. I said, I said, I'm the man for the job. Amen. I stay in the compound. Mm. And this guy gave me accommodation in that big mansion of his. Hallelujah. And this is how I began to live amongst the wealthy. The wealthy. <laughs> Was what I desired and this Hallelujah. was what I prayed for. Mm, mm, mm. Every morning as I take a walk, mm. all the houses I see, mm. they are the kind of houses I want to live Woo! in. Changing your mindset, changing your orientation. For that. Yes, look at Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse ha 19. Hallelujah. Mm. Kalababa. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. No, mm. let me leave 19. I will come to 19 later. Let me read 20. Okay. 20 says, do not curse the king mm. even in your thoughts. Mm. Hey. Hmm. Do not cause the rich even, even in, in your, your bedroom. Bed. Do not cause the king hmm. even in your thoughts. Hmm. Some of us have attitude of, oh, look at him hmm. um, riding, cruising with his Lamborghini. Look at him <laughs> cruising with his Bentley. <laughs> look at him cruising with his with his G wagon. Hmm. Hmm. Who, who knows how he got that money? Hmm. Who knows what he did? Who knows what she did to get that mm, money? Mm. And by the time, the more you talk that way, mm. the more you will not be able to access that realm mm. because it is what you appreciate that you attract. That's right. That's right. That's right. What Kala, you ba, 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 that you attract. Hallelujah. Many people cause the rich. I'm reading you the Bible. Mm. Do not cause the rich, mm. not even in your bedroom. Mm. Do not cause the rich, mm. not even in your bedroom. Mm. Mm. So many people cause the rich. Mm. Many people speak evil about the rich. Mm. But the more you speak evil about those mm. whom God has helped, mm. the more you make it difficult. So what mm. am I talking about? Mm. Your heart mm. should start accommodating prosperity. How do you do that? Amen. Take advantage of your imagination. That's right. Says, Glory to God. Amen. Use mm. your imagination. Mm. God said, these people are one hmm. and nothing is able to stop them stop from them. that that they have imagined, imagined. Hmm. Now, it, it, i know there is power in unity hmm. but it's, it was not only their unity hmm. that gave them that force hmm. it was also their imagination yes man of God, because yes because they were saying that the tower everybody were they are united now they're also saying the tower the tower Yes, so based on that, everybody is working towards that. Everybody is working towards that. They are united, quite okay, but they are also yeah. saying the vision, the goal. What do you see? <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Hallelujah. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Mm. What do you see? Mm. Mm. What do, where do you see yourself? I used to give a quote mm. many years ago. Mm. I used to give a quote. I used to say that it is evil to be seen where you were seen five years ago. Man of now, God. I used to say that mm. many mm. years ago. Mm. And I used, I would say, God forbid mm. that I am seen where I was seen five years mm. ago. And it's on that backdrop that my strongest quote mm. came out. Hallelujah. And what's my strongest quote? Mm. Life is progressive. Yes, sir. Uh. <laughs> people who know me, Ooh. the church I pastored, people that are close to me, they will tell you, mm. if you mention life is progressive, <laughs> you know, by default, mm. the name Samuel London will come to the Amen. end. Amen. Good to God. One guy that used to say mm. this, life is progressive. I know you started mm. in a squallow. Mm. I know you started in a one room mm. horrible apartment mm. but don't forget mm. life is progressing Amen. one day mm. as you continue to learn how to progress in life mm. you we move from that mm. to a better accommodation Hallelujah. from that to a mansion mm. life is progressing Amen. i told my wife, i said to my wife mm. it will not be long mm. we will look at a home Amen. and we will call this our home, Amen. A home that we paid for Amen. Now, in the present situation mm. it doesn't look, look. like it is anywhere possible, but life Ooh, is progressive. progressive.
And what do you do? How do you make it possible? Mm. You keep... Ah, right. you, the, the, the heart and the mouth connection. Go ahead, man of God. You keep saying it. The heart Amen. and the mouth connection. That's right. You keep, just right to my wife. Man of God, do you know mm. how powerful the mystery mm. of the heart and the mouth is? Very powerful, sir. I know. I live in a Western world, one of the most beautiful Western world and the most civilized world. The, <laughs> the, the greatest nation in the face of the, in the, face of the earth. Where I, I live right now. Amen. But, sir, it is probably only my wife who can come and tell you that I married this guy mm. in the year 2009. Mm. And from that year, mm. from the first month of marriage, mm. this guy told me mm. that it will not take long. Mm. We will not live in this nation again. <laughs> we will be the best, the best nation of the world. Hallelujah. I can I testify to the fact mm. that I actually said these things mm. to her? Listen to me. Calabush. It doesn't matter the forces Calabush. that gang up against what you say. Mm. If you have issued a decree, mm. you have set some superior force mm. in motion, and they will make sure that your mm. de decree comes to pass. Mm. Joseph said to them, mm. I see you guys bowing down to me mm. you might not like it <laughs> that's what i say Amen. hallelujah hallelujah glory preach it preach it preach it i don't like what you see mm. but that is what you see Amen. and don't be afraid to say mm. what you see mm. guys you know the story mm. joseph went through a manner of craziness mm. but at the end of the day at the end of the day hallelujah exactly what he saw he said he saw <laughs> Mm. Exactly what he said. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory. And the way he said it, it happened. Amen. What are you saying mm. now? But so friendly, what but... are you saying? Mm. Mm. Imagination, mm. like I'm saying, mm. is one of the ways to use your heart. Mm. Listen, imagination is a nation you can travel to without visa. <laughs> hallelujah. I love that. <laughs> yeah, hallelujah. Glory to God. <clears throat> At the realm of imagination. Mm. Physical money is not yet involved. Amen. So why mm. why don't you exploit? You, 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 you don't need money. Mm. You don't need money to pay for whatever you imagine. You know, you know but what you imagine can bring money your way. Amen. I'm gonna say that one. You don't need money to pay for what you imagine. Hallelujah. But what you imagine can bring money your way. That's right. Imagination is powerful. That's right. God said. Nothing can stop these people of that which they have imagined to do. When you set emotion, the force of imagination, nothing is able to stop you. Imagination is that which will tell someone who is sick that I see myself healthy. And even though you are sick, even though you are sick, what you see is health. Let me put it. Let me put it this way. Yes, sir. The physical. Realm, hmm. as real as it is, hmm. it's not even as real as the spiritual realm. Spirit. That's right. And the spiritual realm hmm. is the realm where imagination functions. That's right. That's right. Say it again, man of God. Realm, hmm. As real as it is, hmm. it, do you know why the Bible will say, "Let the weak say, I am yeah. strong"? <laughs> why would the Bible say that? Because the Bible understands hmm. that the spiritual realm. Hmm. It's actually stronger and more potent than the physical That's realm. Right. So in the physical realm, you are sick. Mm. In the physical realm, you are poor. Mm. But if you can switch over and engage the spiritual, the spiritual realm, realm. Hallelujah. My you will be able to... Listen, Jesus also even practicalized mm. it. Jesus had a physical reality mm. of shame. He had a physical reality of pain. But the Bible said... That for the joy, what joy are you Ooh. talking about? The Bible says for the joy that was set, set before ahead him. of him. Mm. So Jesus, Jesus, in his physical realm of pain and shame, mm. engaged that realm that is intangible. Hallelujah. 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 The intangible realm is more tangible than the physical realm. That's right. Somebody in the name of Jesus, I begin ba, 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 ba. to enforce. Amen. I begin to pray. Amen. I begin to Kala agree with you in the realm of the spirit. Ba, 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 that ba, 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 that which so your ba, ba, ba. heart has conceived. Yes, Lord. That which your heart has seen. Yes, Lord. That possibility. Ba, 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 ba. It is for to him that believeth all things, things are possible. possible. Hallelujah. Possibility you have seen in your heart. I begin to agree with you. Manda brada baba baba to so baba baba. Manda so freddy. Yes. Amen. Begin to confess. Yes. Yes. You can type it 
on the comment box. Yes. There's a switch in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. From sickness to health. Yes. From poverty to prosperity. Yes. I'm switching yes. from death to life. Hallelujah. I'm switching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kala I'm switching from barrenness yes. to fruitfulness. In the name of I Jesus. That my imagination yes. will begin to become my reality. Mando Koso Freddy. Yes. That my imagination will begin to become yes. my reality. In the name of Jesus. Kale Banda Banda. In the name Mendo. of Jesus. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Jesus saw so joy. Hmm. He saw joy in hmm. the midst of pain. Hmm. And shame. Who? He saw joy hmm. in the midst of pain. That's and right. Shame. Hmm. He saw joy in the midst of pain hmm. and shame. Hmm. I know the pain is so painful. Hmm. I know the shame is obvious. Hmm. But don't look at what is hmm. obvious. Look at what you want to be obvious. Hmm. I'm going to say that again. Amen. Don't look at what is obvious. Hmm. Look at what you want to be obvious. Hallelujah. Listen, hmm. I want my joy to be obvious, so I will look on my joy. Hmm. I want my money to be obvious and my prosperity, I will look on that. I want my Hallelujah. fruitfulness to be obvious, even though I'm buried. Hmm. Yeah, 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. In my head, hmm. that is what will make me go set up hmm. a baby's hmm. room. Hmm. That hmm. is what will make me set up the baby's hmm. room, buy my baby's crib. That is what will make me, because in my head, Hallelujah. people will look and say crazy, hmm. right? Hmm. They will come crazy. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Hmm. A man made a quote and said, hmm. "Those who are crazy enough to think they can change the world, they are those that change it." That's it. That's it. That's it. Ma 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 not ma man of God, sir. Amen. Man of God, sir. You know, this this is a great truth that you are teaching us. And is is the issue? A lot of us, we we tend to value opinions of men more than the yes. word of God. Because if you see yourself sick, your 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 the, the, your your everything will be working towards sickness. Yes. Because uh, there is something about joy, about joy. You know, wow. which is been medically proven, medically proven. Even thinking about joy, thinking about joy, your system will begin to release all of those good hormones that will make you to be joyful. Thinking. And when you are thinking about something that is good, mm. because mm. everything that is good bring, always brings joy. Good things yes. bring joy. So if I'm seeing myself in a mansion, I, 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 my, 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 there's something about me that is changing. Something about yes, me. Sir. And that's just in the in the in the physical. Now, now talk about in the realm of the spirits. When I'm thinking in line with God's word, I'm thinking, I'm imagining, I'm imagining myself all debt paid in the great mansion, you know, sponsoring gospels, ministries, helping them to, to kick off. Not bothering them, but where are we going to get the building and all that? Just say, okay, how much is it? Paid it. Paid it for. And pay for 10 years rent for them. Maybe they need a new house, a new building. So how much is it? We, we donated this. Say myself all of those. There is something joyful about it. Mm -hmm. Physically. And also, I'm connecting with the realm of the spirits. To cause the realization of it. And by the time I'm doing that, say myself, I'm changing my thinking. Uh, then eventually, I'm changing my belief. And I'm going to change my vocabulary. Here's something, man of God. First Corinthians... Yes. Uh, first Corinthians 1 to buttress what you, you are saying to further buttress yes, it. First Corinthians 1 26. He said, For you, for you see your calling, brethren. First Corinthians 1 from verse 26. That not many wise according to the flesh, not many yes. mighty, not many noble are called. But yes. God has chosen the foolish Hallelujah. things of the world <laughs> to put to shame. Traditional King, wow. traditional King James says to confound, to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame things which are mighty and the base things of the world and the things which are despised God has chosen and the things which are not are not to bring to nothing the things that are <laughs> <laughs> the things you see, a, a lot of us we don't understand, we don't realize this that it is God's method calling things that be not as though they were. 
If I'm going to change my poverty status, I got to start speaking what God has said about me. Because what I am saying is eventually going to be changed by what I'm saying. What are, is what are not that I'm not saying, which is the word of God, yet is powerfully real, is going to change, is going to bring to nothing the things yes, that sir. I am saying. Yes, sir. So that is why when you, when you keep saying, oh, I can't make it in life. I can never be okay. I can never be well. We have forgotten that we are purchasing death. But when we rise up, according to God's word, based on the word of God, you, you get the revelation of it that, ah, Jesus took my infirmities. I will never be sick. Sickness might come, but you have made up your mind that you will not be sick. You're going to fight it with every of God's word. And the devil will know that, ah, he has gotten it. So we can't come to his palace with sickness. The same thing. When I, when I understand that I will never be poor another day of my life based on God's word, then the, when the devil is bringing poverty and I'm fighting the good fight of faith along that line, after he's going to say, this guy has gotten this. There is nothing we can do about him. There is nothing we can do about him. He can't be poor. So, spirit of poverty, leave him alone, leave him alone. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, say with me, say with me, amen. say... With my heart, with my, I believe. With my heart, I believe that Jesus, that Jesus, died for me. Died for me, including for my prosperity. Including for my prosperity. Hallelujah. And with my mouth, I confess. And with my mouth, I confess that I, that I, will never, will never be poor. Be poor. Be broke. Be broke. Another day. Another day. My life. Of my life, Woo! <laughs> money cometh to me now. Money cometh to me. Why do you need money, sir? Oh, why oh my do goodness. we need money? Mm. Why do we need money? Why should money come to us? Number Keep one, coming, amen. Because God wants you to have money. Mm. Oh, that's what it is. Mm. Deal with it, but that's what God wants you to have I love that. money. God wants you to be rich. Yeah. God wants mm. you mm. to have money. Mm. Mm. That's why money should come to you. Mm. Why should money come to you? guys have been teaching money, money, money. Why should money come mm. to me? Because it's God's will for you. God mm. wants you to have Amen. money. Ecclesiastes. Mm. Ecclesiastes chapter 5. Yes, sir. Verse 18. Mm. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 18 mm. Here is what I have seen It mm. is good and fitting mm. For one to eat and to drink mm. And to enjoy good Hey, mm. hallelujah It is good and fitting mm. For one to eat and, and drink. to drink mm. And to enjoy good mm. Of all his labor mm. In which he toys under the sun mm. All the day of his of his life Which God gives, gives him, him For it is his heritage Verse 19 mm. As for every man to whom God has given, yeah, yeah, what of Amen. As for every man to whom God has given mm. riches, riches, Ooh. and, and the wealth. wealth, and has given, given him power, power to eat of it, mm. to receive his heritage mm. and rejoice in his labor. Mm. What did you just hear? <laughs> <laughs> that God, what did you just hear? That God gave you riches. Ah, hallelujah. And and can I share a good news with you? Yes, sir. He gave you something in addition. Mm. Listen to this. Amen. He gave you riches. Mm. He gave you wealth, wealth. And he added something. Power. That thing is power, power. To, enjoy to enjoy riches it. and wealth. Hallelujah. Because there are people that have riches and wealth, mm. but they are in hospital. They don't enjoy it. Mm. There are people that have riches and wealth, but they cannot eat. Mm. There mm. are people mm. that... Anything they put in their system, their system mm. rejects them. Mm. Mm. But these guys are billionaires. Mm. These guys are trillionaires. Mm. These guys have money. But they cannot even enjoy the money. Mm. But that's why the Bible says, the blessing of, the Lord. of God make it, make it rich. rich. Hallelujah. <laughs> mm. What does the blessing of God? People that are against mm. riches and wealth mm. and prosperity. Mm. Are you, do you guys mm. read your Bible at all? All the people that fight us, all the people that fight us, do you guys really read your Bible? The Bible says that one of the things the blessings of the Lord does is that it make you rich. Mm. It make you rich. So Hallelujah. if the blessing of God can make you rich, mm. why in the world are you against riches? 
So the Bible mm. says where we read that God gives wealth and riches Hallelujah. and he adds power, power to it for you to enjoy. <laughs> so to God. That answers the first question. Mm. Why do I need money? Mm. Because God wants you to have money. You know, you know, you know, man of God, another thing that is very important that mm. people of God need to know. They say, well, you know, we need to be taking care of the poor. We need to be feeding the poor. We need to be. If I don't have the money, how am I going to feed the poor? How am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? Right. They said, well, you know, you need to be doing this, be doing that. If we look at the, the life of Abraham, God says, you uh, you'll be blessed and you'll be a blessing. And here's the thing, man of God. We believers, we have left our place. And there are things that need to be done on earth. Because of our mindset. So God is giving ideas, supernatural ideas to unbelievers. And they have, they have been wealthy. Because we're not going to accept it. We say, oh, no, no, no. But if, but these are the days that believers, they will say, Lord, that wealth, make me a great custodian of it. Because there are a whole lot of things that God wants to, be, wants to do on earth that requires money. And he wants to channel this wealth through his people. But his people wouldn't. So you have to give the ideas so that these things can still move on. The internet That's technology, right. all of those. That's you know, how come? Uh, because the, the skills, the resources, the wisdom, God is the one that has them. But when, because our mindset, oh, no, no, I don't want to be this, I don't want to be that. And that is one of the reasons that a lot of missionaries, they are still suffering. Many, many places, ministers are still suffering. Because a lot of us, we don't embrace the message of divine prosperity that God wants to well, give to want to give to us. I mean, also give us give to us great wealth, so that through us we can sponsor the gospel. Through us, many many things can be done. Glory to God. Please, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. We we we, we, yes, we still have like ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. <laughs> you know, yeah. we are we are over an hour right now. You know, man of God, we, we st have yeah, we still gonna find time to come back. We know we can't. We yeah, we can't finish all this. I said the way we started that we just cannot. No, 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 no. We're still going to come back. Let's rush, let's rush and accommodate more points. Yes, sir. The second point mm. that you need money to come to you mm. is because you will always need answers in life. That's right. You will always need answers in mm. life. And do you know what? Money answers all things. Mm. Amen. 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 Money Amen. answers all mm. things. There is, no, there is almost no point in life you will not need an answer. That's right. And for the Bible, look at it. Mm. Look at it in your scripture. Amen. Don't take my word for it. Mm. Let me give it to you. That Amen. is Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 19. Yes, sir. A feast is made for laughter. Mm. A wine maketh merry, but money answers everything. Mm. Money. This is why I, money answers everything. Mm. Listen to me. Let me mm. put it this way, sir. Yes. Someone who do not have business, mm. you know, who, who does not have business, mm. die. Mm. Right? Mm can die for lack of money yes <laughs> yes a sickness mm. that can actually be handled mm. treated mm. would eventually end up mm. being the reason for someone's death that's right and the only reason is because the person cannot generate mm. even ordinary 60 dollars mm. To buy medication mm. ordinary 60 dollars mm. 60 is much mm. the person cannot generate ordinary 20 dollars mm. to buy medication wow Calabush. why would we lose mm. a precious soul life mm. for for lack of money mm. why would we lose a precious life mm. so money becomes an answer in mm. a situation like that mm. and you ask me why do i need money mm. i need money because so I mean situations will always crop up in this life yeah. and every situation requires an answer. Mm, mm. And the Bible declares concerning mm, money mm. that money answer it mm. all things. Amen, amen, amen. Mm. Number three, mm. money is actually a defense. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Money is a defense. Seven. Ecclesiastes mm. chapter seven. Yes, sir. Ecclesiastes mm. chapter seven, verse twelve. Mm. He says, for wisdom is a defense mm. as money is it's a, a defense. defense. Hallelujah. But the excellency of knowledge is mm. that wisdom gives life to those that have it. Mm. Wisdom is a defense mm. as money. Mm. This is why I need money. Mm. Money is a defense. Mm. And the last point, man of God, yes, I have I have about 
10 points hmm. that that came to my spirit hmm. and i wrote down Amen. on 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 uh Why? how i never be broke another day oh, oh, hallelujah and, That's and i answered i answered the question how can i never be broke another day mm. of my life with almost 10 points mm. but i'm sorry we cannot get to it today no, we'll come back but we, we, we will end with the last point mm. of why should money come to me mm. we will end with the last point of why should money come to me Amen. when god provides another opportunity mm. we'll continue this discussion Amen. but why should money hmm. come to you the last the first point i say because god wants to give you money hmm. the second one because money answer it or hmm. things the third one because money is a defense hmm. the fourth one is because money is the answer to abandoned project that's right abandoned project <laughs> i love that <laughs> that's, money, is, hmm. money is the answer let's read the bible yes sir luke chapter 14. Hmm. luke chapter 14. There's nothing as disgraceful mm. as abandoned projects. Mm. 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 There's nothing as disgraceful. And mm. there are people even listening to me. Mm. Mm. And you have abandoned projects mm. all over. You started building, you cannot finish mm. it. In your hometown, mm. in the city. Mm. You started off a project. Mm. You are stuck halfway. Mm. Mm. You cannot finish up your project. Mm. And then you are the first to criticize those who are trying to help you <laughs> open your eyes to the mystery ah, of wealth. Hallelujah. Let me read Luke chapter 14, mm. verse 28. Yes, sir. Luke chapter 14, mm. verse 28. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Kaliyadabala. For which of you, mm. for which of you intending to build a tower, tower. Mm. does not sit down first and count mm. the cost, mm. whether he has In enough, enough. <laughs> Enough. 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 A, translation said, a translation said enough money. Mm. Whether he had enough mm. money. Mm. It's actually money we are talking about. That's right. That's right. It's actually money we are talking mm. about here. Mm. Who wants to build that will not see that one come the cost to find out whether I have enough money mm. to finish? Mm. The question I ask you is do mm. you have enough money to finish? Mm. <laughs> you know, man of God. Do you have man of God. money to finish? I'm asking you. Go ahead, sir. Amen. Complete Jewish Bible. It said. To see uh -huh. if you have enough capital to complete okay. it. <laughs> enough capital to complete it. Complete Jewish Bible. <laughs> go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Now, now, it says, least after he has mm. laid the foundation mm. and is not able, able to, to finish, finish, all who see it begin, begin to, to mock, mock him. him. Mm. This man began to build mm. and was not able to, to finish. finish. Mm. You see? Mm. People mock you mm. for abandoned projects. That's why I don't like abandoned projects. You become an object of mockery mm. because of abandoned projects. Mm. But what is the solution to abandon abandoned projects? Mm. Having enough. That's now, right. having enough is the world standard. Mm. Can I tell you God's standard? Mm. <laughs> God's standard is, I think the Hebrew word for it is hoopabolo. Mm. God's standard is to give you who Pablo mm. means to throw? You know, imagine mm. someone throwing mm. something. That's right. And if you are you are let's say mm. hundred feet away from the mm. person, mm. and the person should be able to throw this to get to you, mm. who is hundred feet away from him. Mm. Mm. But who Pablo is to throw beyond. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So so this person is hundred feet, Hallelujah. but you throw beyond mm. the person mm. now it is the world that is talking about enough to finish mm. but god deals with more than more enough. than enough forgive Ooh, shall be given to Shandabha. you good measure Mental. press down Shandabha. shake it together i was thinking that god will stop at good measure nope. but god said no nope. i want to go to press down <laughs> okay that's fine okay. i was thinking that god will stop at mm. press down mm. now, god said no nope. i want to shake this shake thing it. shake it <laughs> until it let it enter everything uh. i was thinking that god will stop and shake it god said no nope. Can I just pour some more? <laughs> it's a good measure. Mm. Praise that. Shake, Shake it together. together. Hallelujah. And roll it over. Hallelujah. Woo. Shende bala ba 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 ba. I receive. I receive what it begins to In the name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Kala ba bo. Shende bala ba 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 ba. It will roll over. Amen. Mato so Freddy. The reason it needs to roll, needs to roll mm. over mm. is so that that one who was going to die mm. for lack of $50. Mm. 
can now leave. Hmm. The reason I need this thing to run over hmm. is so that that family that was meant to be chased out of their home, hmm. do you know the level where I can walk through the street hmm. and I see a man, a wife, and the children hmm. crying, hmm. and I'm like, what's going on? Hmm. That we are, we are we are being chased out of our home. Hmm. Why? We don't have money hmm. to pay for the home. Hmm. And I say, really? Hmm. And I went up to the 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 the, the, the um. Um, the constable, mm. and I meet the constable. I said, I'm sorry, what was going on here? I said, Well, we are evicting them. Mm. Um, who is in charge? Is, who is the landlord? Mm. He said, He's inside. Mm. 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 I walk with the landlord. I say, Sorry, sir, mm. um, I understand you're evicting these people. Mm. He said, Yes. He said, Okay, what's the value of your house? <laughs> he said, uh, Say $400,000. 400, mm. I said, uh, would you appreciate if I give you five hundred thousand mm. dollars? The man said, "What? What? I told you the value is four hundred thousand. Mm. I said, no, I heard you, mm. but I want to give you five hundred thousand. Oh, I want to add gosh. more for you. But sir, why are you doing this? I just love your home. I mm. want to buy it. Okay, write me the check. Mm. And I wrote him the check, and he dropped the key in my hands, Ooh. and he called the constables and told them let's leave, mm. and they drive off, mm. and I take that key." And I give to that man and oh, his family, hallelujah. and I say, "This is Shandala your home." Labo. That is the Labo. thing. Shandala. When I talk about imagination, mm. those are the things I imagine. Me, me too. Oh, oh God. Hand down. Mm. I am sick and tired of giving handouts. Mm. You understand know what I'm saying? Kenneth Copeland has testified many times how he has given out jets. Do you know yes. what it means to give <laughs> jets, out many, jets? Many, 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 several, <laughs> several. Listen. Talking about building a house and giving to somebody hmm. that I don't know, hmm. but there is a man living hmm. who has given out jets Hallelujah. to people. Problem. Jets. The value of a jet hmm. is obviously higher than the value of a house. That's fine. But a man has given out jets hmm. to people. Hmm. There is indeed a realm called abundance. Super there abundance. is indeed a realm called abundance. Amen. And that is the realm God is bringing us to. Calibre. That is the realm God Shinde desires for us to walk so to. Freddy. What did I say before? Hmm. Do not cause the king in your heart. Hmm. Do not cause the rich man in your bed hmm. chambers. Hmm. That is what I say. Hmm. When you see, what did I say before? Hmm. So your desire is someone's reality. Hmm. So when I look, and this is the mystery of faith. Hmm. The Bible who say that faith is calling the things that be not as though they were. Mm. The mystery of faith is that it is the substance of things hoped for, Hallelujah. the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. So over what you have not seen, there is mm. an evidence. I'm mm. going to say that again. Mm. Over mm. what you have not seen, there is an evidence. That's right. right. That's right. Amen. Right. Not seen there's an evidence. That's right. So I have not seen myself hand over the key of a home mm. to a destitute family. Mm. I have not seen myself hand over the key of a home mm. to a homeless people. Mm. But there is an evidence. There is an evidence there is someone alive. Amen. There is someone who that is his mm. reality. Mm. So when I hear the testimony of a man giving a private jet, mm. then I can say to God, God. This is my evidence Amen. I have not done. This is my evidence mm. of what I have not seen. Amen. I have not seen myself hand over a home to people. Mm. But if this man living mm. can give out private jet, Hallelujah. I, Samuel Lonamde, in this my life, <laughs> Amen. Come to Baba. buy a home. Aye, I can so tell you what you mean. Yes. Give it to the homeless. Yes, I, give it to the homeless. I can tell you what you mean. I will be able. To mm. children, to go to the yes, best scholarship school. to children, to go to the best school. Children, yes, father my family will work in the name of Jesus. Who yes, have direction. yes, children who never mm. believe that we are man to anything. But I am blessed to be a blessing, I am lifted to lift. I am hallelujah, hallelujah. I am blessed to bless, hallelujah. lifted to lift. I have been healed hallelujah. to heal, I'm so I've been helped to help. I have been, I have been, I have been baptized mm. to baptize hallelujah. others with the spirit hallelujah. of prosperity. Glory my to wealth is not for me. Hmm. The reason I desire hmm. to, man of God, I, 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 I did it. I never wanted to say this, hmm. but as I'm in the spirit, hmm. because I am right now in the spirit, Amen. and this is into my head. God said, Do you know hmm. why you are enabled? Hmm. Because, man of God, I remember in this my lifetime hmm. that there was a time I was praying for prosperity. Hmm. I was I was praying for the spirit of prosperity. Hmm. And that that was the prayer I made with tears. Mm. One of the prayers I made with so much emotion and mm. tears running down my mm. eyes. And the point, and I'm, I'm, my, my voice is beginning to stammer. Mm. Trying to hold myself. The point I began to cry mm. in that prayer mm. was when I began to beg God. I said, God, please, 
I do not want to be blessed for me. Mm. I, how, how much will I eat? Mm. How much? How much? How Please, much? Please, will I sleep? If I have five mansions, mm. will I live in the five mm. of them at the same mm. time? How many houses mm. will I live in? Mm. If I have 20 cars, will I ride the 20 cars at the same no, time? No. I say, God, mm. I was crying and I was mm. praying. I say, God, please, if you can Show trust me with wealth, if you can bless me, God, it will be that. I say, God, it will be Hmm. For people, hmm. I want to be blessed so Bless that someone yes. can walk out of hospital. Woo! Never she have been able to pay for the hospital bills. I want to be blessed so that someone can have food to hmm. eat. Amen. Who would never have been able to have access to food? And people wonder, oh, it's like hmm. Pastor Samuel has a lot of money. Because hmm. when Corona started, hmm. I know that some continents of Africa, hmm. some governments of some countries in Africa hmm. and the co countries in the continent of Africa, Mm. did not give support or palliative to their, to citizens. their citizens. So I know that in this midst of mm. COVID-19, mm. a lot of people are going through yes. serious hardship. Yes. But I am not the type that mm. preach giving mm. just for preaching's mm. sake. I do more of giving than I preach it. Amen. I don't want to preach giving. Mm. I want to do giving. Amen. There Me are too. a lot of pastors that preach about mm. giving. Mm. This is not about preaching. Mm. You can preach it all you like, mm. but if you don't practice it, you mm. will never gain the benefit of giving. That's why. In this COVID-19, mm. I started giving soft palliatives. Mm. Soft palliatives people mm. i did it last month mm. i increased it the one i started i started with five people mm. last month i increased it to ten Amen. and i considered teachers mm. teachers who since covid started mm. they have not been paid salary mm. they can't feed Shouldn't their family the they can't do nothing they are just living hoping how do we mm. survive the day mm. and god say and i never mm. give out of abundance i never gave mm. because i have plenty mm. i am and confessing for plenty mm. but you don't need to have plenty, plenty to begin to give that's right hmm. god god never had plenty before he gave hmm. the bible says for god so loved the world that he gave his only, only son only begotten <laughs> one out of his plenty wow, god did not give God's one God's out of his many so god gave his only hmm. the mystery of giving hmm. is that you don't wait to have hmm. many to hmm. give hmm. because it is the only that you give that hmm. will give you many that's right i say that Mm. The mystery of giving is that you don't wait to have many mm. before you give mm, mm. because it is the only that you give that mm. will give you Hallelujah. back many. Hallelujah. Except the corn of wheat mm. falls down and dies, mm. it abides alone. alone. But when it dies, mm. it brings forth much fruit. Hallelujah. So it is that one mm. going mm. that attracts others to mm -hmm, come. Mm -hmm. The Son of God came down and Jesus was offered as a seed. Hallelujah. Why? Hallelujah. The Bible said, so that he can bring many sons to glory. To glory. So Hallelujah. Jesus, one seed mm. brought many of us today. That's right. There are many Jesus. That's right. The one hosting this program. Mm. Me as a guest. <laughs> in this program, glory to God. Many Jesuses all over the mm. world. But all of us Jesuses, mm. we were made possible Hallelujah. by one Jesus, one Jesus That's right. who was offered as a seed. Glory. When you withhold not good mm. to them that is due, mm. when it is the power, power of your hands to do. do. Don't say to someone go and come back tomorrow. Mm. In, the, in the morning, sow your seeds. Mm. In the evening, so much because you don't know the one that will return mm. back to you. Mm. Do you understand what I'm mm. saying? Cast your bread upon Kalababu many waters. For in due course, they will come back. That's to right. That's there right. It's not thing that you give. When people see me giving on Facebook, mm. they think I'm crazy. Mm. They think it's because I have money, many. Mm. No, I'm mm. securing the destiny of my children. Hallelujah. The Giving is not even for the people I gave it to. Mm. That giving is for me. Mm. For it is more blessed to give than, than to receive. receive. Hallelujah. That, the giving is for me. Mm. In giving, I become richer. Amen. In giving, God enlarges mm. me. In giving, I increase. Mm. God got many sons mm. when He gave His only. Hallelujah. Give us. Don't give out of plenty. Mm. Give us. Give their only because they know that their only will bring them plenty. Woo! I leave it up. Glory to God. Man of God, our time is, is gone, man. People of God, my brother and I, I'm telling you, we're still going to come back because we, we, I mean, we're not done yet. <laughs> of course, we're not going to be done ever, ever with message of prosperity, but I'm, we're just going to hang it right now, but we're still going to come back. Glory to God, we're still going to come back because I believe that there's so many things that the Lord will want us to say. 
but I believe that you have been blessed. This is the third episode that we have had right now. The first one, the testing. The second one, last time. The second one, the second one, the full video is over 6,000 plus. And the shorts clip that we did is over 11,000 views. Glory to God. And then that short one, we only promoted it for, I think, $7 or so. <laughs> wow. Yeah. The, wow. the short one of 10 minutes. We promoted it for $7. For $7. But the first one, we didn't promote at all. We're just having the watch party. Before the end of that day, that day, you might told wow. you over 5,000 views. Because people, wow. are, people are hungry. It's obvious right now that uh, governments cannot do it. Economy, yes, is down, economy downtown is happening, but not yes, to sir. you. Not to you, not to me. Glory to God. Because the life that God has called us into is life of abundance. So, <laughs> you can see that. So, when we say you will never be broke another day of your life, that money cometh to you right now. It's happening. It's happening. Economy downtown. Who do you need to help you right now? God! That's why we're preaching this message to you. Glory to God. Thank you so much, man of God. Praise God. Our time is really fast spent. Now, before we go quickly, if you are right there, if you haven't given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, then you need to because that's the first step of coming into the family, the wealthy family, the most wealthiest family on earth. So say this after all. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died for me. I believe that you died and you arose and you arose for my justification. For my justification. I now accept you. And now I accept as my Lord. As my Lord. And as my Savior. And as my Savior. Glory to God. Welcome to the most wealthiest family on earth. Welcome to yes, the, the family of health. Where yes, there is no sickness. So you should, when sickness tries to attack you, say, no, you can't attack me. Welcome to the family of holiness. When you have been tempted to sin, you say, no, 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 that's not me. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because I have been called to a life of holiness. Glory to God. That's the life that we are. Glory to God. Now, my brother and I, we are coming back this Friday. This Friday. I've got the flyer right here. Glory to God. We are coming back this Friday. You know, I'm going to be a guest on this program. Glory to God. And the program is tagged, The Efficacy of Faith. The Efficacy of yes, Faith. Sir. It is this Friday. This Friday, 9 a.m. Yeah. Dallas and, and uh, 8 a.m. Tampa. Yes, sir. Uh, man of God, it, it doesn't it, I, mean, I think we are we are one hour, one hour ahead of you guys. I think it should be. Oh, I, think it, I think it should be your ten a.m. Oh, your ten. A. Okay, um, okay, hour ten a.m. Oh yes, exactly. Yes. Okay, so nine a.m. Dallas and ten a.m. hour uh, nine a.m. yours, ten a.m. hours. So that's right. and that's going to be three p.m. Uh, then uh, yeah, three p.m. Nigerian time because. You guys are six hours behind Nigeria. We are five hours. Yes. So, yes. we're going to be talking about e the efficacy of faith. Glory to God. On his Facebook page. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And uh, his information is running under, underneath. You can follow Reverend Sam, Samuel Nnamdi on Facebook at K KLM Dallas. Then on Twitter yes. and Instagram at Pastor Ike. P.S.T. Ike. Glory to God. You can follow him right there. Glory to God. Then, this weekend... This weekend, I'm, my, my family and I, we're going to be, our ministry is going to be with uh, Pastor Olubawale and the Stephanie Olubawale. Glory to God. I got a flyer somewhere here. Hallelujah. So, let's see. Got a flyer somewhere. So, it's happening in Savannah, Georgia. In Savannah, Georgia. It's happening in, oh yeah, we got it. Praise God. It's happening in Savannah, Georgia. Glory to God. And the title of this ministration, I mean, this program is, is their media conference, Breaking Forth Church International, Savannah, Georgia, on ground and online. It's, it tags no more limitations. Oh, I love that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No more limitations or no more limits because it's our season of enlargements and the Lord has made room for us, real both. So we're going to take advantage of it. Glory to God and, and get into that worldly place. I'm telling you, praise the Lord. So, they add the flyers on our page is on my brother's page breaking forth church savannah georgia their media conference no more limitations so we're going to be ministering with other ministers of, of god on sunday is when i will be ministering it's starting thursday and also friday so sunday morning i will be ministering glory to god so my family and i we're going to be there glory to go to be part of the program we're also going to stream it live 
on on our different platforms glory to god so get connected make sure you uh, note the date glory to god hallelujah so make sure you follow uh Reverend sam on his page instagram twitter and facebook and don't forget this friday 10 a.m florida time my brother and i were going to be coming I'm, I'm a guest on his broadcast wonderful 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 man of god kingdom love ministries that's the word God has given yes, him. Sir. I remember when you said you just love, 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 love. So I wasn't surprised <laughs> when, when you, when you, when you, when you named it Kingdom Love Ministry. Glory to God, man of God. Please, sir, quickly pray for us so that we just hang it. Then we're going to find another date that we're going to come back. Glory to God. And the topic is still going to be: I will never be broke another day of my life. Monday coming. <laughs> Glory, to Glory to God. Father, Amen. The name of Jesus. I take advantage of the blood of Jesus yes, to secure mm. our finances, yes. our family, yes, Lord. and our future. Yes, Lord. For everyone that listens to this broadcast, mm. I take advantage of the power that is in that blood yes. that guaranteed salvation yes, for Lord. us. And by that blood of yes. Jesus, I secure Amen. right now. Amen. Your finances, Amen. your family, yes. and your future. Amen. I declare over you yes. that your future will not be bleak. Yes, in your the name of Jesus. Your future will be colorful. Yes, I declare over in the name you that your family is protected from evil. Yes, I declare over you mm. that your finances, hallelujah, Amen. will be right now. Yes, so it creeps Amen. that you will get into the realm of abundance, Amen. into the realm overflow amen in the name of jesus amen. christ i thank you my father thank you lord for you have answered us yes lord we believe yes. and we receive amen in jesus mighty name we pray amen. amen 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 thank you so much for joining us please share the video watch it over and over again because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god this is god's word so let it be part of your vocabulary because your poverty has been paid for so you can say, you can declare that you will never be broke another day of your life. That money cometh to you, to me. I'm wow. telling you, we got to cough out the money. Because when you are saying money cometh, opportunities will be arising. Why? Because you are releasing the world. Favor, financial favor will be following you. You know, big ideas yeah. will be coming through to you. Because you are speaking God's language. <laughs> you are speaking God's language. You are not speaking your own language. Okay, because the language of God is wealth, abundance, riches. So, by the time you are saying that, guess what? The money will be finding their way to you. Glory to God. In abundance. Because that's God's will for you. Glory to God. Man of God, thank you so much. We really appreciate you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Thank you for having me. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So, people of God, thank you so much. Don't forget, tomorrow, tomorrow, um, on our broadcast, we are having faith school. Glory to God. Faith school. It is tomorrow. Tomorrow is faith school. So, it's going to be an awesome time. Uh, we're still talking about... You've got to be patient. Patiently wait for your manifestation. That's what we're discussing. 7 a.m. tomorrow. Our faith school. Glory to God. So, make sure you join us. Glory to God. Thank you so much once again, man of God. People of God, thank you so much for joining us. Glory to God. Until tomorrow... For our broadcast and until friday also with my brother on his broadcast talking about the efficacy of faith remember that jesus is, is. lord amen amen amen, amen.